Now, this story is closely related to what we've been covering. Tonight, TV47 explores the transformation in the hospitality industry, as there has been a sudden shift in preference from hotel rooms, the traditional hotel rooms, to short-stay rental houses. As the year 2024 began, the short-stay accommodation platforms like Airbnb have supposedly turned into crime hotspots with two gruesome murders occurring in less than two weeks in the month of January. As Moige Williams reports, stakeholders are now urging for the regulation of these facilities. In a span of two weeks, two women were reported murdered in short-stay residence within the country's capital. On the 3rd of January, the lifeless body of 26-year-old Starlet Wahoo was found in an Airbnb in Nairobi South B estate. A post-mortem examination indicating she was strangled and had a deep cut wound on her leg in the thigh which had cut her vein, leading to her losing a lot of blood and ultimately her death. Eleven days later, at Nairobi's Resambu area, Brita Waini's dismembered body and with the head missing was discovered at another short-stay apartment. Police arrested two suspects in connection with the gruesome murder of the 20-year-old third-year student at Jaykwat. The two incidents now raising questions about the security measures taken by sector players in the industry. Francis Njenga, an investor in the hospitality sector, manages both a traditional hotel and a short-stay apartment in Kiambu County. He sheds light on the operations of these two facilities, acknowledging a surge in short-term rentals demand. According to Njenga, the increased interest in the short-stay apartments is attributed to their capacity to provide a more personalized and local experience, distinguishing it from conventional hotels. People are shifting there because it's more private, actually, and uh, it is more comfortable. Because for you to run a B&B, you guarantee somebody a fridge, a meko, uh, a dispenser. You see in a room in a normal lodging you don't give up. The most common short stay rental platform locally happens to be Airbnb, an American founded global platform founded in the year 2008 where users can find a wide range of accommodations. But Njenga points out that lately such platforms have been marred by security lapses due to factors like offline booking occasioned by zero regulations that to govern them and like the measures put in place by managers of traditional hotels. Ah, what do you want to have a and I believe that is why going forward uh, their, their, their business has to be identified. The ANBs have really taken, it's a good business, yes, but we're just saying, can we have some order? There's not how a republic where everybody's doing what he wants. In the name of what? In the name of um, ANBs. Security expert Enoch Makanga warns that if county governments do not take swift action and put in place necessary measures to regulate short stay rentals, the sector may turn to be a crime haven. The criminals have taken advantage, they found a very good loophole. I can, I can be able to do my things in ANB. Yeah, for five days, for six days, for one month, and nobody will be able to understand what, what, what I'm doing. And the clarion call being made by stakeholders in the hospitality industry is the regulation of both people in the hotel industry and the Airbnb industry. Mwege William, TV 47.